Welcome back everyone, we added again today another test, it's been a while since we tested Dr. Webb and I've had the request to do it, um, so I chose Malwarebytes as the, as the um, competitor, I think these two would be good competition for one another, so for Dr. Webb, um, let's have a look here at our settings, ok let's just unlock it, Okay, so for files and network, um, everything here is enabled, but we'll go to Splendor Guard. Um, for infected, it's cure or move to the quarantine, so that's the recommended action. Suspicious move, adware move. Um, I enabled the jokes, hack tool, and risk wear. They all are um, on ignore by default, but I said move to quarantine. Additional, and that's it. So, uh, Splendor Gate, um, enabled. Um, pretty much everything's enabled. We just um, did not use the block objects, not scanned and malformed. Uh, firewall. Okay. So allow connections for trusted. Splendor mail we're not going to use. Scanner is just for the AV scans. Okay, so on the general. Update is by default 30 minutes. Um, network. Self protection is enabled, Dr. Web Cloud is enabled, Antivirus Network we're not using, um, and then the scanners. Okay, preventative um, detection, ransomware protection, um, set to block. Um, behavior analysis, uh, these are all the defaults, so it's set on optimal. Um, we can maybe set it to medium. Let's see what that, that does. Uh, application access. Okay, exploit prevention. Prevent on authorized code from being executed. Okay, let's add somewhere. Um, device and data. Webcams, but we're obviously not testing these two. And DLP. These are the tools, um, exclusions, and then we've got the exclusions for our scripts, but those are about the, the only ones that we have, and yeah, I think that's that for the settings, um, statistics are just the reporting side, okay, for malware bytes, um, as you guys also requested, um, we need to sharpen up some of the exploit settings, so that's what we've done. So security, you guys can see everything is pretty much enabled. Okay, so if we look at advanced settings, I did tick all the boxes. Um, advanced memory, everything is ticked. Application, everything that we can tick. These boxes are all grayed out, so I can't tick them. And Java, I just did not say allow insecure, so that's... And then pen testing has been enabled as well. And yeah, I'd say that's about it for malware bytes. Um, just gonna need to disable the protection, um, get the malware extracted so that we can um, start this test. Okay, so um, apologies for the delay. Um, Defender and Dr. Webb gave me some problems on this VM. Dr. Webb kept um, cr crashing or closing, um, and Defender kept removing malware. So I had to first sort that out. Um, okay. So we are going to test 3,250 samples, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 3,250 samples. Um, I know some people might say that's a lot, but why not? Let's do this for fun. Okay, so let's just quickly update these products. And our bytes is up to date. Yeah, just gonna wait for Dr. Webb and then we'll start the test. Okay, so um, Dr. Webb is also up to date. So now it's time to get the protection going. Okay, malware bytes is enabled, protected, good to go. Close that. Uh, Dr. Webb seems good. Let's just lock the settings. 
Okay, Dr. Webb is happy. Um, let's look at the security center. Yeah, seems good. Um, could just be the defender that also picked up some of the malware. Okay, so let's start the web test. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so Dr. Webb is giving us um, pop-ups. Nothing from malware bytes as of yet. Okay, there we go. Now let's say keep. Okay, so it seems like Dr. Webb is done. Okay, there we've got a blog page, blog page, blog page. Nothing. Uh, nothing. And that one is still loading. A bit now it bites. Okay, it was blocked. Uh, blocked. Okay, so judging by the malware bytes icons and by um, Dr. Web, we only have one, two, three, four pages that were blocked. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pages that were blocked. Um, let's look at our downloads folder. Okay, so yeah, we've got seven versus twelve. Um, the order summary also downloaded, and that seems to be it. Okay, so we do have a couple of files that downloaded. For me, it looked malware bytes did better in the web test. Um, maybe you guys have your own opinion, but I'm just judging according to all of this. Um, these are obviously temporary files. Um, might have been because they were um, interrupted, but um, yeah. So it says one thread was neutralized. Yeah, so they, these might just be temporary files, so they might not be anything. So, but yeah, you guys can let me know what, what your thoughts are about this web test. But I think my bytes maybe did a tad better. Let's close this. Okay, now for the main event. Okay, no permissions. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Okay, hashes are being submitted. Okay, cool. So there's already one. Let's look at malware bytes. Okay, malware bytes already has one. Okay, so it seems like stuff is happening. I haven't seen any pop-ups from Dr. Webb as yet. Uh, maybe we'll get that later in the test. But yeah, as you guys can see, um, there's a firewall. Uh, let's just say uh, block once. Okay, so stuff is happening, guys. Um, we have one one each. Let's see how this goes. Okie dokie, so um, I think I'm gonna stop this test. Um, the scripts are ex extremely and super slow on the Dr. Web. Takes forever to do something. I've, this one is, is hanging. Um, I ran this one and it's also hanging and I can't close them. Um, and Bitdefender, uh, sorry, Bitdefender Malwarebytes, I think, went for a nap. So Malwarebytes, I don't know, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's taking a nap or something. Um, and also, as you guys can see, this VM is like super slow. Um, 
and also to point out I'm not even close to 50% of the malware execution on them both so a lot of malware is gonna get skipped but um, I can't execute it um, VMs are just not responding um, let's have a look see at Dr. Web so you'll notice there's also quite a lot of malware running on this machine um, as you guys will see here we've got quite a quite a bunch here we've got quite a bunch as well and we've got there here we've got a little group uh, there's two of them another three uh, another two another three uh, there's more malware there a couple of malware there and yeah so as you guys can see a lot of malware on the Dr. Web machine um, for malware bytes. Let's quickly see what's happening here. Let's see if it is actually responding. Let's pause that. Okay, the malware bytes one seems to be frozen or just extremely slow. Um, let me see if I can get this one to respond and then we'll look at the result for uh, Malwarebytes. Okay, so Malwarebytes is responding again. I'm just executing the last ones. Okay, so let's quickly see what we have as startup items. Uh, for Dr. Web, we'll just close all of this. Okay, so you guys have seen what was running. Let's look at startup. Okay, so we have obviously one, two, three, four, four startup items. Not too bad considering how much was running. Okay, so we've got four startup items. Uh, malware bytes. Um, more startup items than I can actually count. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a quite a lot of <laughs> a lot of startup items on this one. Ouch. Um, okay, we'll close that. Let's see what's still running. Uh, that smart screen might be suspicious. Then we obviously have this one. Got another one there. Looks like um, remote connection. Then we have a couple of ones still running here. Okay, so also quite a lot, guys. Okay, now it's time to restart these machines. Um, okay, restarting them. Once they're up and running, I'll update them and start the full scans. Okay, so the full scans are finished. Um, Dr. Webb neutralized all the threats. Uh, Malwarebytes wants to restart. Okay, so we'll just say that Malwarebytes needs to reboot, yes. Um, Dr. Webb, I'm just gonna reboot this machine as well uh, so that we can start the scans. Okay, it's time to look at the results. Um, Heatman Pro. Um, updated roaming, uh, malware that I was un unable to delete on the desktop, um, update the local temp, a couple of them there, um, an another runtime broker, okay, yeah, so those are the Eatman Pro results, uh, malware bytes, uh, three, two, uh, sorry, two registry keys, uh, malware on the desktop, app data, malware on the desktop, directly on the C drive, um, seems like a file for um, uh, MSI soft scanner. Okay, and then we obviously have this consistent pop up. Okay, let's close this. Okay, um, Norton. Uh, local temp, couple of folders there, roaming. Now on the desktop, local temp, and roaming here as well. 14 detections. Um, Malware bytes 47 detections update the local. So you guys can see quite a lot on the local temp. 
Okay, local team store, app data, roaming, in public, and there's a scheduled task. Okay, hit um, MSISoft, 13 detections, app data local. Okay, and then there's the one in downloads, the other summary. summary. Uh, let's have a look at this one, program files, Microsoft SQL Server, app data, app data, okay, then app data roaming, then those are the downloads one, and then one registry key. Okay, let's close this. Okay, so the quick scans for Komodo found nothing. Okay, um, Kaspersky found three problems, uh, ramping, runtime, and then malware on the desktop for um, malware bytes, it's a little bit more. Um, obviously we have uh, malware running in memory. App data, app data, app data, app data, there's that same Microsoft SQL uh, on the desktop, there's little shortcuts. Um, okay, let's just move this one out of the way. Uh, F-Secure found nothing. Um, F-Secure on this one was unable to connect to the internet. Sorry, I forgot, can't move that. Okay, malware bytes. Okay, we have all these text files. Okay, malware bytes. After the full scan, it found 12 more problems. Um, on the left, we've got three problems. Um, app data local again. App data, app data. Okay, and then malware on the desktop a little bit. And then three registry keys. Um, App data, then there's the scheduled task, and then quite a lot of registry keys. Okay, now let's see if anything actually is still showing as installed. Uh, Dr. Web, there's my installer is still showing, and for malware bytes, doesn't seem like there's anything there. Um, so these are the shortcuts that were malicious. Um, Let's look at our startup items. Okay, so we've got still these two. There's the malicious runtime broker. Then we've got this one here. Now we're buying still quite a lot of startup items. Um, them there as well. Uh, Hworm, that sounds interesting. Add that the local temp, okay, it's a VB script, and then yeah, so yeah, there's quite a lot of startup items for malware bytes, unfortunately, not good at all. Uh, let's look at what's running. Okay, let's resubmit them. In the meantime, let's look at power bytes. Okay, doesn't seem like anything is still persistent. Those I think I have um, been removed. Okay, so we'll just do this without the ratings. Let's just see if we can spot anything. The runtime broker should be in here somewhere. Okay, so we obviously these two are still running. 
there's the real tech one as well so we've got three uh, four there's the runtime brokers so we still have malware running on the doctor web machine download okay we have that there okay pictures are good and pictures are good okay guys so this is the end of this test quite mixed and confusing results um, Dr. Webb Obviously cons is we still have um, malware running even after restarts. Um, we do have registry key changes, we have malware all over the place. Um, pros, I would say luckily at least no ransomware infection, but also just bear in mind for both these machines I was unable to execute all the malware. I most probably executed 50 to 60% of the malware. Um, so maybe the last 40% would have had a ransomware that could have caused damage, we don't know. Um, but not good results by Dr. Webb either. Uh, malware, bits, uh, malware bytes as expected, not good results. Um, at least we do not have malware running in memory, but we do have startup items. Um, there's quite a lot of startup items. Um, also registry key modifications and things like that so not good results by either of them but it's difficult to choose a winner um, overall Dr. Webb looks better but we do have those four malware still running in in the processes which is obviously a big problem um, most probably I would lean towards Dr. Webb that did better but not good results by the program um, either so yeah, so let me know what you guys thought about the test. Let me know which one you think is the overall winner. Um, it is difficult for me to choose, but in general, I would say most probably more Dr. Webb, but they both did um, poorly. So yeah, so let me know now, guys. I'll start with the other tests, and then I'll see you in the next one.